Hello my dear audience, welcome to Curry TV. Today we are going to make Kerala style shrimp roast with fresh coconut slices. Okay? I know you have seen so many varieties. If you search on web, you'll find many many varieties. But I bet you, you won't find this one because it's my style. So let me take you over all the ingredients we'll be using and how simple this is and how fast you can make this dish. But full of flavors. It will be just burst in your mouth. I'm like boom, ba, boom, boom, boom. It's gonna be fireworks in your mouth, okay? That's how it's gonna be. So, let's take a look at all the ingredients and I'll show you. For the spiciness, for all the masalas, we're gonna be using turmeric powder, red chili powder, fresh black peppercorns, not fresh, dried black peppercorns. We need, I'm using small style garlic, so I have six of those ready. If you're using big ones, please use about four three to four, it depends if you like the flavor of garlic. If you don't like it, just use one or two because it does add a flavor enhancement to this recipe. So don't leave that out. Just reduce it if you don't like as much as garlic in your dish. All right, and then ginger, a good, a good inch piece, all right? And two shallots. You could use pearl onions or shallots. I wouldn't prefer to use onion because onion flavor is too strong for this recipe. So go with something milder but unique. So that, that's why I'm using shallots. There's two of them. Salted taste and then green chilies. So we're going to be crushing together the green chilies and the ginger and garlic, the GGs. Okay, the three GGs, we're going to crush them together along with some black pepper. Why do that? Because it just brings out such a good taste. Your taste buds will be surprised. Oh, wow. What, what, what? Oh, wow. wow. So you, all those wow, wow factors are going to be coming in. So that's that. And of course, we need curry leaves. Fresh curry leaves is always best. I got about half cup of very fresh. I mean, we did it ourselves. That's how fresh this is. And it tastes so good. So the quantity of uh, coconut slices that you want to use it all varies I'm using half cup here and we need kombuj this is the tamarind family kombuj is going to be our sourness it's just going to it's going to be so beautiful so just trust me along with this and then we are making this all in coconut oil if you notice I do not have mustard I do not have the regular ingredients that we do on a day-to-day -day recipe right because it's you had to make something different so i got all of this now let's talk about shrimp this is the 41 to 50 count so that means it's not too small it's not too big this is two pounds of shrimp that i've cleaned deveined and the tail is off so that's the type of shrimp that we are using when it comes to seafood it's easily accessible to go for fish or shrimp how often do you go for crab lobster and scallops and whatnot because it's very expensive but these are something that anybody can relate relate to or buy more frequently than I'm putting out a crab roast right that's for occasions special occasions you go for elaborate way the recipe I got everything laid out right the uniqueness the taste enhancers are the pots that you use you are more than welcome to use any pot that you like but for this recipe the authentic kerala style recipe you need to use it care uh, earthen pot so let's just take over that okay i got my earthen pot here so my stove is still off okay this is what we're gonna do pour our kombuj so what i did i took two big slices of kombuj and soaked it in water Nothing else in it, just water. Just lukewarm water so that, that we get the concentrate of that. Kombuj. Kombuj is in the family of, I told you earlier if you were paying attention, it's tamarind. Okay, so let's pour all of that in. While the while it's all off, let's add all our coconut slices because we're going to flavor our coconut slices with that sourness, the spiciness. And then you'll see. Okay. Let's add all our turmeric powder. That's one and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder. Now, why would you do those two combination? Is to get the nice vibrant yellow color. The turmeric powder and red chili powder brings out the vibrant yellow color. So we got all of that. Let's give it a mix. 
so that another thing to keep in mind is that when you're using an earthen pot do not get your flame all up high so fast because then that will crack your pot you won't get as much life of it if you take good care of it okay so got that all of this is in let that sit now on to our mortar and pesto i got small garlic there's six above here let's all add all of that along with our ginger a good one inch piece ginger and our black pepper this is one tablespoon the spiciness come from our black pepper and green chilies not the red chili red chili powder is not a kerala origin is actually a immigrant to india we are so used to making it all our dishes with black pepper because that's the origin for kerala and green chilies that's the spiciness comes from not red chili red chili is actually imported from if my memory is right portugal from somewhere around there right don't call me out on that but you know what it's all good they're all tastemakers so let's join everybody along with our green chilies let's crush all this add it to our pot give it a good mix and then we'll turn up this heat and then get the party going all right We crushed everything together. If you take a look, it's not too fine paste. There is flavor, there is texture to our crushed ingredients. So what you're gonna do, I'm using a gloves because that green chili is on fire. Seriously, my God. Whew, don't test me out on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's add all that into our pot and Get the disco going. Let's get the move. So we added all our crushed ingredients along with our coconut slices and kombucha water and all our ground powder such as turmeric powder and red chili powder. Let's get the flame going. Not on really, really high, just medium low so that all those stuff starts to bubble and then we're gonna get our shrimp in there. Shrimp doesn't take a long time to cook. If you make this curry and you cook your shrimp for more than like say five minutes, then the texture is gonna become like rubber. We don't wanna eat rubber. For, we want the full proteins of all our ingredients. So don't lose all of that. So therefore we're gonna cook this for about a total of five minutes. So we're gonna get all the raw flavor of garlic, ginger, green chilies, the three Gs, along with our red chili powder, turmeric powder, and black pepper. And we're gonna boil this in that kombucha water, this concentrate of that, that sourness. If you don't like that flavor, you can most, feel free to use vinegar or tomato. Both of those can also add flavor to this, but that won't be the authentic style. And then you can garnish the top with some fresh curry leaves. We're gonna add a few right now reserve some for our shrimp to enter in it's smelling good have this recipe like stashed in your back pocket because you can rely on this for any occasion any meal or you know, if you want to surprise somebody and you're, you, you, don't, you don't have much time, you can make this. That's how simple this is. So, our pan start to bubble up with all of that. We're going to go in with our shrimp. This is washed and drained. Deveined all of that. So, in case if you don't know how to devein your shrimp, I will show that in a video coming very shortly. So, let's give it a mix in that concentrate of flavor. Mixed it all up. Now we're gonna cover this with a lid. Of course, how, can, how else can you cover this, right? And let's cook this for about five minutes. And then I'll show you how that looks like. So while our shrimp is cooking, 
make sure our pan is well covered, right? And let's get our uh, shallots all sliced up. So I'm just gonna thinly slice our shallots and I'll show you. Okay, it's been about two minutes, so there's lots of water content in this shrimp so that it released all of its, its stock along with our concentrate of our kombucha. So we need to evaporate this. The remaining three minutes, I'm just gonna leave that lid to the side and let it boil. All right, so I have evaporated all that moisture and it's come to a dry roast of with all that flavor in that kombucha water. So as you can imagine how flavorful this is. The sourness, the ginger, garlic, and green chili flavors along with that black pepper. And that color is from that turmeric powder and red chili powder, right? So next, what we're gonna do here is add all our sliced shallots along with, season this with some salt. You can season it according to your style, beginning or end. I seasoned it in the middle, just a teaspoon or so. I'm gonna add another half a teaspoon or so into this, along with some fresh curry leaves. This is the tricky, beautiful, flavorful thing that's gonna come out, okay? See this? Mm, my gosh. This with some nice Kerala rice. In case if you haven't seen that video, please do check it out. It's so easy, you can make that in an Instapot. That's, like, that's very easy, right? So, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, our shallots are in, are seasoned with salt. If you want to add more coconut uh, slices, you're free to do so. If you want to add more curry leaves, feel free to do so. Along with some black pepper. Black pepper is the spiciness, the, 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 the gold in this dish, okay? So definitely use black pepper. Now we're gonna top it off with some coconut oil. My mom used to have fresh, or their family used to have a coconut farm. When they get all the coconuts collected from all the areas, they may take it to the mill and they get the fresh Coconut oil, oh my God. The flavor of that and the smell of that, you, you just won't believe it, it's how flavorful that is. Just the coconut oil, you could eat, uh, you can make a lot of dishes with that, of course, but that fresh smell of the coconut oil just makes you feel so tempted. So that's what we're gonna recreate in this dish. So we're gonna use about a tablespoon of coconut oil in this dish. Now, if you don't have to use coconut oil, not at all, but for this Kerala dish, I bet you want to use that, okay? Let's stir this around. Oh, my God. I am in food heaven. That's how good this feels. Wow. Wow, what a beauty. Mm -hmm. You know who's gonna have a feast? You could too. Create this at home, man. Come on. Why wait? Okay. Our dish is done. That's how simple this dish is. And full of flavor, full of the traditions that our ancestors has followed. So please give it a try. I hope you will enjoy this. And I hope you enjoyed spending time with us. I'll see you next time on Curry TV. Thank you.